Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here, and in this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to dynamically display a video or a featured image on your single blog post. Now, that probably sounds confusing. Basically, I want to show a video module in place of the featured image if there's a video for that post. If there's no video for that post, then it will show an image module of the featured image. So I know um, it's not really any easy way to explain that better, but I'll show you what I mean. Actually, our blog post here would be a good example. So this is a video that I can click and play, and you notice that there's no other image. So there's actually, we just recently uh, re redid this. Um, if you were viewing our blog you know, a few weeks ago, you would have seen like the image here, and then as you scroll down, there was a place with the video. So what I wanted to do was eliminate that and just show both together. Um, so I only have one thumbnail. And so what I've done is set up a custom field and then I'm using dynamic content and then a condition to show or hide the video or the image. Um, and so I'm gonna walk you through that. It's it's involves you know the Divi theme builder, custom fields, dynamic content, and conditions. Um, so those are kind of like prerequisites. I have them listed here. Um, but yeah, you should be familiar with them. Um, if you're using Divi, you probably are. If not, there's other resources that I have on those topics. So I'm just going to get right into it. The first step is to set up a custom field. That's needed because we need a place to put the, the in my case, a YouTube link. And so that custom field kind of becomes the main focal point because our condition will work whether or not there's a YouTube video URL in that custom field or not. So the very first thing is to get that custom field. For me, I just created a field group. I called it blog post video. I added one field. You would have more fields if you have you know, other custom fields assigned to your blog post. Um, and I'm using advanced custom fields, by the way. You could do this with another custom fields method. And then I have this assigned to, um, you know, if post type equals post. So basically I'm just adding a URL field to every blog post. And all that means is if I go to any of these posts here and then in the back end of that post, see here, there's this custom field, YouTube video link. Now that's important. Um, actually, let me go back to where I was. Um, the main thing I wanted to show you was this here, this ID, YouTube underscore video link. I'm going to need that very quick, shortly. So that they actually have a little copy symbol there in advanced custom fields. All right, so let's go to the next step. So I'm going to add a condition to the featured image. So I'm assuming that you already have a featured image. If not, you can add this. So here's what we'll do. We'll go to the Divi theme builder. Uh, go to my all posts template because it's all posts for all the blog posts. And the nice thing about this tutorial is we're using just one template. We're not using multiple templates for a video and all this different stuff. Um, I don't even have an image in here. So let's assume I would have had an image in here and I would have had this image linked to the featured image with dynamic content, right? And that that's pretty normal. Like that's a very common thing to have a featured image linked to your featured image dynamically. Okay, what I need to do now for this step number two in our tutorial is to add a condition. So we we actually want this to hide if there's a YouTube link added in the custom field because then we'll show the video module. So for this, go to the settings, the advanced tab, in the conditions here, we're going to just add a new condition and select custom field. Now, anything you have to change is it's already going to be on manual custom field. That's great. I already remember I copied that ID from the back end. I'm going to paste that. So that is important. So whatever field ID you had, you want to put there. And then this is drop down. What I want this to do, I want this image module to display only if this field has no value, okay? So just think that through. So the image will show if there's no link 
in this field has no value, okay? Now, the next step, this will make more sense when I get to step three. Add a condition to the video module. So now let's add a video module. And it's almost the same steps, but it's a little bit opposite. So now I'm going to go to the advanced tab, to the conditions and add a condition. Same thing almost. So we have manual custom field name and we gotta put that same name in there. Now, instead of what I said has no value, we need to say is any value. We can't use any of these other options. None of these would work. It's either has no value or is any value. So for the video, we want this to display only if this field is any value. So if there is a YouTube link in there, for example, then the video will, will show. If not, the image will show and this will hide. Um, the step four, actually I'll go to five a while, I'll skip to five. I always like to put the overlay here to link the overlay to my featured image. This is just my preference. Maybe, maybe you have a different method for doing that, but especially when you have a dynamic template like this. So whatever this featured image is, will be, see that's how it worked here. You know, if I, if I went to the back end of this post and got rid of the YouTube link, it would just show this image without the video. Okay. So I always like to put the, the same featured image as that video overlay. All right, now back to step four that we skipped. This is where our plugin comes in. So we created the Divi dynamic helper for this reason. There's no dynamic content right here. So there's this default YouTube video here from Elegant Themes. Well, that we don't want that. Since this is a theme builder template, you couldn't come in here and add a video for everyone because it would, it would update the template. Remember, a theme builder template is, up, is applied to all your posts. So every time you do that, you'd be putting the same video. So don't make that mistake. What we need instead is dynamic content. Well, we actually have our Divi Dynamic Helper plugin installed. So you see this icon? This icon, it does not exist without our plugin. So you will have to go check out our Divi Dynamic Helper. It does all kinds of things. This is just one of the things, but it adds this missing feature, right? So we click on there, and now I can actually pick from my custom fields. Now let's find, uh, what did I call it? Video something. I have so many in here because I use this site for so many different things for testing. Here it is, ACF blog post videos. So YouTube video link. I have my template set up now. This is gonna be dynamic using those conditions. And I just thought of a better way to show this. So over on my um, Shirley WP website, see I have these different blog posts here. So I know I know, for example, that this one does not have a video. I, I just, I personally know that, but this one does. So let's, let's look at those two. So here you can see the featured image is showing, right? And then here you can see the video is showing. So it's the exact same setup that I did over here um, using the image and the video are showing on both, but are, are in the template for both, but it's conditional. Um, so this one gets the video module. This one gets the image module. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. If it wasn't too complicated, um, this is kind of one of those things where you start getting into dynamic content and your theme builder and conditions, and it can get really exciting. Actually, there's a lot of things you can do. I use so many conditions. I actually use a lot of conditions on our website. Um, so my, I have much less theme builder templates than I used to because of conditions. It allows you to do so much with less templates. And in this case, we only had one template for your blog post um, to make it really simple. So I hope you enjoyed that. If so, let me know and we'll see you all in our next video.